So in this video, we'll be seeing how to declare a variable with a particular data type and how to assign a value to it, to that particular variable which we have created. And we'll be seeing how to do this in Java. So let's get this started. So I have the Java program template right here, which I've mentioned in the previous Java tutorial. We need to use this same template to write any Java code. So I've already written it and I, I have it ready for you so that I don't have to write it again uh, in this video. That would save a lot of time. Anyways, so first of all, in order to declare a variable, this is what you do. So first of all, you need to choose a data type or for, for the variable which you are about to create. For example, if I want to create an integer type variable, I would say int, int is a Java reserved keyword which, which uh, represents the int data type, integer data type. Uh, we have spoken about these data types in our previous video. So I would say int space the name of the variable. So you can give any name to the variable. For example, I'll say int a. And obviously you will have to terminate it with a semicolon because in Java, semicolon must be used as a statement terminator. So what we just did is we have created a variable named a of integer data type. And in the same way, you can do it for other data types as well. For example, if you want to do it for, let's say long, you can say long b, long b. And what we've just done is we have created a data type b of long uh, data type. Sorry, uh, I mean to say we have created a variable b of long data type. So this right here, this right here is the variable name and this is the data type. So just be clear with that. And in the same way, I would say uh, float, float C, right? I would say float C and what we have done is we have created a variable named C of float data type. And in the same way, I'd say double D. So we have created a double data type variable and named it as D. And uh, what else we have left? We have uh, character. We will represent character as C-H-A-R and followed by the name of the variable, which let's say, character e and in the same way string string f and then boolean boolean what comes after f it's g right so anyways so that's how you declare or that's how you create a variable with uh, with a particular data type of your choice so yeah that's the syntax of creating a variable of uh, of any particular data type of your wish. So now let's go ahead and compile this code to see if we have committed any syntactical errors and to see if what we have done, what we have written right here is correct. So let me open my command prompt and let me go to my desktop and learn programming folder. And uh, I've actually created a new folder which says data types so that I'll be able to store all the codes related to data types tutorials over here. So I'll say CD data types. I'll just navigate to my data types folder. And I have saved this file as uh, data types.java as you can see here. So I will uh, compile this code. I'll say Java C followed by the name of the file, which is uh, data types.java. That's how we compile, uh, compile a Java program. Hit enter. And there we go. There is no error shown, which means we have not committed any syntactical errors, which means all that we have done uh, is right. We have correctly defined the variables, right? Now let me run the code. I'll say Java followed by the name of the class here, which is sample. So Java sample, hit enter. There's no output here, if you can notice. That is because we are not actually printing anything to the output. We, are, we have not used any system.out.println to print to the output. All we have done in this code is just define the variables. That's it, we have defined uh, an integer variable, a long variable, a float variable, a double variable, a char, string, and a boolean variable. We have not printed anything uh, to this thing, uh, to the output yet. So that's how you define a variable. Now let me go ahead and show you how to actually assign a value to a variable. For example, if, uh, so for example, we have a variable named a, which is of integer data type. So now I can assign or store some value into this variable a. So in order to do that, I need to say a, which is the name of the variable equal to, and then I need to assign the value. I need to type in the value, which I want to store in the variable a, and also make sure that uh, you give the value, which is an integer data type, 
that is because we have declared a as an integer data type so any value which we want to store in a must be an integer data type value so i can say something like 23 here 23 is an integer data type value but i cannot say something like 23.0 because 23.0 contains a fractional part and it comes under float and uh, double data type so i cannot store a float or a double data type value in an integer type variable so i'll be say i'll be saying a equal to 23 so in order to cross check this if if uh, if we have successfully assigned the value to the variable what we will be doing is we'll be printing we'll be printing out the value that is stored in the variable a and in order to do that obviously you need system dot out dot println to print to the output and open and close flower brackets and then a semicolon and inside this open and uh, that's not flower bracket that's parenthesis i'm sorry okay inside this open and close parenthesis you need to you need to uh, mention the the value that you want to print to the output so in my case i want to print the value that is assigned or that is stored in the variable a right here so what i have to do is i have to just type in a there and i do not need to enclose this a within single quotes or double quotes because this is a this is a variable that i was uh, going to print it's not a string value that i'm that i want to print i want the i want to print the value that is stored in the variable a so i will just say a without enclosing it in double quotes or single quotes so let me go ahead and compile this code uh, so there we go 23 is actually printed to the output so you can see uh, we are printing the value in the variable a and 23 is printed which means we have successfully assigned or stored the value into the variable a now uh, just out of curiosity if you ask me why didn't you enclose this within double quotes or single quotes let me show you if i enclose it within double quotes if i say system.out.println and i say a in double quotes look at what will be the output let me compile this again and let me run this and there we go a is printed and not the value that is stored in the variable a that is because uh, the compiler is going to treat this as a string and it's not going to treat that as a variable so you do not have to enclose the names of variables in single quotes or double quotes so you just have to say a there that's it right so we have um, we have so what we have done here is first we have uh, you know declared the variable and in this line what we have done is we have assigned the value to the variable right so there are two steps that we have done here the first step is we have declared or defined the variable and that's the second step is that we have assigned the value to the variable now we can reduce these two steps into a single line right you can just uh, reduce this into a single line and in order to do that you can just say int a and automatically you know uh, in the same line you can just say int a equal to 23 and that is still acceptable it is a right syntax to declare a variable and initialize it in the same line just like this I'll show you so you can just uh, compile it to see if it's right or wrong so there we go there's no compilation error so which means uh, the syntax is correct let me run it and yeah 23 is printed 23 is printed which means uh, this is acceptable we can actually declare and initialize the variable in the same line and if you want to declare and initialize more variables in the same line uh, you can say you can separate it with the comma right here and you can say b equal to let's say 13 or uh, say c equal to 14 something like that you can initialize you can declare and initialize as many variables as you want in the same line by separating them with commas and make sure uh, that uh, when you are separating them with commas b will also be an integer data type c also will be an integer data type so if you want to create a variable with some other data type you will have to do it in the next line or after the semicolon right so yeah that's it now let's let's go to the let's shift to another data type for example let's say we go with float right so float a equal to let me say 23 and uh, point to 3 so as we know float data type can store uh, a decimal value a decimal number so if you are using float also make sure that at the end of the number you mention that it is a float by 
by typing in small f just like that and obviously you also need a semicolon so that's it float a equal to 23.23 f now let me uh, you know execute this or compile this and then execute this so there we go 23.23 is printed over here and in the same way you can do that for double as well uh, double and for double you don't want to you know include a f right here so i'll say double a equal to 23.234 uh, 2345 something like that so uh, let me compile it and run it there we go 23.23245 yeah 232345 actually so yes uh, that's how uh, you initialize a double variable and in the same way we'll do it with a character type character a equal to uh, capital a and let me print this out so we want yeah a is printed capital a is printed because we have assigned the value a to this variable a and one more thing here if what what happens if i give more than one character if i assign more than one character to this character type variable let's say i say uh, character a equal to a b so i've assigned two characters a and b to the same variable a so let's see what happens here All right let me clear the screen first so there we go uh, it says uh, it's an error three errors found it's because uh, a character data type can only hold one character it cannot hold more than one character or a sequence of characters but if you want to use a sequence of characters you know what to do right you have to go for the data type string so i just rename this to string and remember uh, for string you must enclose a string with double quotes and not single quotes in case of java so i'll just enclose it within double quotes i'll say av right so now let's see that must fix the error there we go error is fixed and yeah ab is printed so we have seen uh, integer we have seen long we have seen float we have uh, seen uh, double we have seen string we have seen character and what's left is boolean so let's try it with boolean as well so i'll say boolean a equal to true right so let's see what the uh, output will be for this so compiling and then running it so there we go true is printed so what if i give uh, some other value for this data type for this boolean data type data type variable so let's say i say boolean equal to uh, something like a string something like that right so let me try to compile it and it obviously is going to show you an error there we go it says incompatible types string cannot be converted to boolean right so all i all i can do with boolean type is either to uh, say it's a true or false you cannot say anything other than true or false so yeah that's how you that's how you declare a variable and initialize some value to it so i've just shown you how to define a variable and how to assign some value to the variable and how to print the value which is stored in any particular variable or to the output by using system.out.println statement and we have seen how to do this all in java so in the next video we'll be seeing how to do the same but on python